All right, so you just finished downloading your CSV file and generated some content using Autobound. Now, what do you do with it? Now, it really depends what system you're using to actually send your emails in. Maybe it's Outreach, SalesLoft, HubSpot, Apollo. Maybe you're trying to get this information into Salesforce and connect it to one of these other systems. Um, it all works in a very similar way. Now, there's some things you need to set up on the admin side within one of these systems. So you might need to have a certain level of permission to actually take advantage of this. Uh, so let's start with um, outreach. I'll, I'll demo it here. Um, so in settings, and this is very similar, like I was saying with all these tools, you can build something what's called custom fields. So in outreach, you have um, on the prospect object, you can generate your own custom fields um, that don't aren't native to the outreach environment. And so um, what I've done is created uh, a custom field for Autobahn Opener 1, Opener 2, Opener 3. These are, you know, in Autobahn CSV, you can actually generate up to three openers. So I just have one for each of these. And let's go check out a prospect right now that um, we'll, we're going to actually generate this for. So um, All right, so there's one other item that you need to do in order to ensure that uh, you can use this in the system, and it's to make sure that you have templates or sequences that actually um, can leverage the automated, uh, the, the variables that you're, the custom fields you're creating here. All right, there's one other step to actually use the content on about produces via CSV, and it has to do with creating templates or sequences that can leverage the content. So I've created an example sequence where in the first email step here, the custom field, custom 14, um, is populated in this template. So similar to first name, similar to like sender name, this gets populated dynamically with data um, that is associated with the prospect that you're going to, you guessed it, upload the content into. So now that I have my template set up and I've got uh, the custom field set up, it's time to upload the con the prospect list into auto into outreach. So I'll go to bulk create prospects. Here's my CSV here. Now the next step is critical. It's mapping um, the custom fields in your tool to the sheet, the, the column in the actual sheet here. So let's pull that column up just so we can look at it here. All right, I believe it is. Uh, okay, perfect. So here's the CSV file. You can see that there is a column for opener one, and there's also another column for opener HTML upload this. Now, um, these systems don't by nature, uh, like outreach, the, the field doesn't actually keep the paragraph breaks intact. So you have to upload the HTML version. This is just for like you to review it on the CSV. This is what you actually want to upload. So um, when I go into the system, here is that opener HTML upload this. I'm going to map that to <laughs> opener one, custom 14. Remember we saw that one in the actual sequence. And then we'll hit next and um, start import. Great. All right, let's go check it out. So here's Bob Doe. Uh, here's the contact from that sequence. And now you can see in the uh, custom field section, you have this um, opener populated here with those brackets. So now if I were to add this prospect to that sequence where there is that variable inside, you'll see that when I actually go to start this task, that, that variable has been populated with 
the autobound opener. So no more custom 14. And as you can imagine, you could do this at scale. You could you know, upload 100,000 contacts if you want. Um, this can be done very similarly inside of Sales Loft, where you can create custom fields, um, HubSpot, Salesforce, you name it. It's all a very similar workflow. So hopefully that helps.